Hi all, this is Nibby5, and this is uh, what has now been released as Vega Comb 3.2, Build 6. What I'm running at the moment has got elements of what will be Build 7 in it, but nothing that's really going to change this video too much. What I wanted to show you was just a system in action, and for any of you who aren't running it yet or are on the fence uh, about whether you want to try to switch to it, um, you can have a look, see what you think. So, this is Android 3.2, fully GPU accelerated, running on a brand new uh, 0.36 kernel. Um, everything, essentially, as far as the Android system itself, is uh, working perfectly. Um, there's a couple of pieces of hardware that aren't working yet. Um, Bluetooth isn't working, the camera isn't working. Uh, at the moment, the microphone isn't working either, all of those are being worked on. Um, other than that, almost everything else is working and is working very well so we have got the browser now working no floating browser tabs anymore flash is working natively in the stock browser everything is nice and smooth uh, we have got uh, top of the top of screen touch issues that were there before are still present in uh, some of the native apps like the browser or the market um, on the left hand side of the screen around here they can be a little bit strange the um, they're not as bad as they used to be by quite a long way so you'll probably find that after a little bit of use you get the idea of how to how to touch the screen to get it running the way that you want it to run other than that that's one of the only kind of bugbears that I've got a lot of people don't really care about this but this is one of the slight issues that kind of bugs me everything else is running really nicely so, web browsing, it's working beautifully, all in the stock browser, you don't need to worry about installing Opera or anything else to get Flash working anymore. Uh, we can show you this, if I just make sure, here yeah, we're definitely on desktop, if I go to BBC, oops, can't type. Go to the iPlayer. There we go. Just start something playing quickly for you. So in build six, um, the audio quality is much improved. We know we shouldn't have uh, anywhere near the amount of audio distortion up at the max levels of volume that we had before. So that's all really, really nicely. There we go. So it goes nice and loud. No distortion at the top level. Beautiful. Back to the desktop. Um, as you'll probably notice as well, as you launch through apps, you should be able to tell that before, when we had a lot of apps running in the background, when you fired back to the desktop, the um, a lot of widgets would reload because the memory management wasn't quite there yet. It's a little bit better now, so you won't find that will happen every now and again. The Vega's only got 512 megs of memory, but it shouldn't happen anywhere near as much as it did before. We've got Android 3.2, so we've got all the nice little things that come with that, including widget resizing. So we can resize a lot of the widgets that come on the home screen. We have got the widget menu all working perfectly. We've got a nice little selection of wallpapers, as we had before. I head back out of here, go back into the market. The market is all working really nicely. I don't know if you can tell, if you've used 1.7 before, then you will probably already be able to tell that this is a considerable amount faster. This is the fastest version of Vegacam that we've ever released. Very, very happy with it. Uh, if I install, let's, uh, what should we install, a live wallpaper? See if we can lag the home screen a little bit just so we can compare this to other uh, honeycomb tablets. Let's install the aquarium live wallpaper. Get that installed. So a couple of the problems that we had in one point uh, in um, build five. Uh, with apps not installing properly or apps not running properly, they should be gone now. 
We're natively on 120 DPI now, which is running great. Uh, all the little weird bugbears that 120 DPI used to have have been ironed out. Uh, Homer and Cass and everybody who's been working on this has done a great job just just smoothing over the kinks and a couple of little apps or the um, the parts of the OS that were having problems running correctly on the Vega screen size. They've been de-kinked, so everything should be running a lot better than it would ever have been on 1.7. So if we choose live wallpapers now and let's turn on the aquarium live wallpaper. So there we go. We now have a nice aquarium live wallpaper going on. Everything is just as quick as it was. Not slowing anything down any noticeable amount. Got it faded in the background. It's just so, so much faster than it ever was before. So with a live wallpaper running, let's fire up Dungeon Defenders, which in the past has always been one of the more heavyweight games that people tend to play. Now bear in mind that none of the native honeycomb tablets that are out at the moment have got less than one gig of memory. The Vega has got 512 megs. So getting this to run at all on the Vega uh, was a challenge that everybody has stepped up to. Getting it to run this well uh, was something a lot of people said wasn't even possible. So, you know, in your face. So we'll leave that running. Let's just launch a game up real quick. You can see it actually launch up. I know you've all seen me launch this game up a whole bunch of times, but it really is one of the best apps to try and run to just show how everything's running. So here we go, touch screen all working fantastically. Game is running great. Let's just hit the home button. Head back out of that. There we go. There we go. So everything reloads because that is a very heavy, heavy app. Right, so let's launch another heavy heavy game, shall we? Uh Samurai Vengeance. Again, another Tigra HD game. Finish loading. Here we go. So, Summer of Vengeance. Let's just see if I can find something to chop up a little bit. Here we go. That's great. So, back to the home screen. Let's head back into the browser. go. Loaded back up. Everything's running great. I mean, the Vegas, my Vegas never run like this on any game before. It's running fantastically. I mean, I would easily compare this to Corvus 5. Um, and for me, obviously, I love Corvus 5. That was my first run that I made for the Vega. And I know a load of people use it as a fallback. I mean, Corvus put a lot of time into that. And uh, and it really has stood the test of time while we've been working on this. But now I wouldn't step back from uh, from Vega Chrome three point two. I think it is running absolutely beautifully. So we've got obviously the Gmail apps are working. All of the Google apps are running properly. So there we go. Emails are working great. We we'll launch the YouTube app. Again, YouTube HD. It's working properly, this isn't a hacked app, this has, it hasn't been downgraded, nothing's been changed, it is full HD, 720p video. Just let this load up. Here we go. Everything running brilliant. This is probably the most transparent version a Vega comb ever. There's hardly anything that you have to do, there's nothing that you have to mess around with in the background to make things work properly. It just works. It just runs. It runs well. 
I'm really proud of it. I know um, the rest of the team are really proud of it. There's a couple of things that we still want to iron out. We're never going to stop probably trying to make it perfect. But we've caught up now. We're not lagging behind. We're not working on Android 3.0 while everybody else is releasing Android 3.2 ROMs. The Vega has caught up with the native Honeycomb tablets, and we plan on keeping it that way. So feel free to go ahead and download this one, Build 6 at the moment. Build 7 will be coming out reasonably soon, as soon as we've um, added a couple more features in there. Uh, there's probably not going to be a huge amount more me memory management or anything else that goes on. I'm pretty confident this is damn quick, and I don't think it's going to get a huge amount quicker. I don't think there's much choice, much uh, reason to try to squeeze much more speed out of this. It's running really nicely as it is. My transformer is struggling to keep up with the speed that this thing's running at at the moment, so I'm probably going to have to show a little bit of love to my transformer soon. So there we go. For anybody who wants to give it a go, or anybody who is interested in how this is working, this is native. GPU accelerated, Android 3.2 on the Advent Vega. Hope you guys enjoy it.